Hey everyone, Trey Mc here from Magnet Forensics, and today I'm excited to highlight the new Media Explorer found within Axiom 5.0. Starting from the case dashboard, we'll simply use Axiom Navigation to head over to the Media Explorer. It's important to note you'll need to build the Media Explorer index first, which Axiom will prompt you to do when you select Media. Or you can simply navigate to Tools and Settings and choose different post-processing options, whether you're wanting to build connections automatically, timeline, your picture comparison, or now, as you can see, you can also have Axiom build the Media Explorer as well once the case is done processing with Axiom Process. This is great if you want to not have to worry about running these additional options later or if perhaps you're kicking off a case for processing before you head out for the night and want everything to be done when you return to the lab versus having to run each of these options as you need them. So let's take a look at what's new with Media Explorer. Starting from the top, you'll notice we've kept our officer wellness features for media categorization in the same location. These features allow for muting videos, displaying media, or blocking and blurring media that's already been graded if perhaps you're working a CSAM investigation. Next, you can see we have different grouping options options here by file extension, creation dates, modified, or by evidence source if you've loaded in you know, additional pieces of evidence instead of just one piece for this case. I'm going to go ahead and group by evidence source. Take note that we've also added along with different ways of sorting your evidence a new stacking option, which you can disable from this drop down. But what's really nice about the hit stacking is it will group images based on their MD5 or SHA-1 hash. Now here you can see we have an example of the new hit stacking with 404 and we have the stacking icon. And when I select that icon here, you can see the evidence source, perhaps the file name, but as well as the source location for where Axiom discovered and parsed this icon from. This looks to be from several different APKs found within an Android device. Now, onto additional filters we've added for examiners to use as they're filtering through media for their investigation. The first group being investigation leads which is great for finding media with geolocation data or perhaps your focus is on something that might have been posted on social media. So here you can see we have file names matching social media. I'm gonna go ahead and select items matching, apply this filter. Now that we've applied the filter for posts that potentially were on social media, looks like we have several screenshots. Now, as we're scrolling through images, we might find an image that we want to have a quick preview of. New with Axiom 5.0 within the Media Explorer, simply hover over the photo and you'll be able to get a quick prompt of that image. You can also select that image and pan around if the need arises and you need to have a better view of a, a larger image. The hover feature works actually really well for video as well. I'm gonna navigate down to Video Attributes, container format, and QuickTime. Now, as you can see, we have our, our videos that are broken out, and on the right-hand side, we get our preview of quick screen grabs that we have pulled from parsing out that video. We can also watch the video from within the standard player, just as we've normally been able to do within Axiom. But now, you can simply hover over an image as well, and then move and scrub back and forth for a quick analysis of videos. Other filtering options that examiners might find useful are to identify pictures on their evidence sources that were taken with a particular type of camera maker model. Perhaps you found contraband image within the EXIF of a photo and you know it was taken with a blue phone. Using the camera details section, we can go down to camera make, simply select blue, apply this filter, and now we can see all of the images taken from a blue phone that were found within our evidence. Lastly, finally, for those working with Project Vic or CADE hash sets, since Axiom has been Vic certified, you can now conduct your media grading from within Media Explorer instead of exporting out JSONs and bouncing between various tools. So I'm actually going to navigate down to Vic's attributes, and here we can see we have category, we have dis distributed media, identified offenders, identified victims, and as we drop down these different different categories, we can simply select what the matches are if we've applied those hash sets during processing. So I can hit apply filter here. Once again, you can see these have already been graded and are marked as category one. We can also continue dropping down some of these different categories and maybe we're looking for identified offender. Once again, now you can see we have hits on potential trues. I can apply this filter and we do in fact have those matches. As with earlier versions of Axiom, if you are working within Axiom grading images and you in fact grade something with a category one or two, you can have it set to automatically blur or block that image. We have the new Media Explorer aids in your investigations that require media review or media categorization. We'll see you next time. Thanks.